Hey everyone, welcome to another episode in the TRC How-To Series. I'm Jeremy, the Traveling Shaver, and today we're going to be discussing how to travel with your shaving gear. Now, a couple things to keep in mind is, one, you want to determine how you're traveling. Are you traveling by car, mass transit, like a train or a bus, or are you traveling by air? If you're traveling by car, really the only limitation you have on gear you take is space in the vehicle. If you're traveling on mass transit, like a bus or a train, your limitations there are how much you want to carry. If you're traveling by air, this is where things can get a little tricky. Are you going to be checking your luggage or are you going to be carrying on? Now, if you're carrying on, there is something that you have to keep in mind is you're limited in size of liquid containers. You're also limited in that you cannot, right, let me repeat that, you can not carry on any removable blades meaning your tuck of DE blades, whether that be in a tuck or loaded in your razor. Same with gem style blades, even injector blades or AC blades. You cannot carry those on. Those have to be checked or mailed to your destination prior to your departure. Now, even with the injector blades with the blade preloaded, TSA has been known to confiscate not only the blade, but the razor. So keep that in mind if you're traveling by air. If you are checking your luggage, you have a little bit more leeway. Uh, now, whether you're carrying on or checking your luggage, one thing I do recommend is taking all of your liquids and place them in a Ziploc bag. This just makes sure because the where the luggage sits, it is not pressurized. If the container is really, really full, it may leak. And if you have it in a plastic bag, it'll just get in the plastic bag and the stuff in here and not over everything else in your kit. So put any kind of liquids, whether that be uh, a shaving cream, uh, post shaves, anything like that. Samples, you have some samples for post shave product right there. Uh, an atomizer for your um, aftershave or witch hazel. Just put that in that plastic bag. Now you've picked your DOP kit. Maybe you already have one. If not, there's plenty available at different uh, locations all, all uh, online. So you have a drop kit and I need to travel, you need to pack your gear. So the first thing you need to determine is what kind of brush you're gonna take. Now my personal recommendation is to at least carry a synthetic. That way if you shave in the morning or the night before you leave, you can put that in your kit and it will dry really, really fast. Of course you can take a badger or a boar, but keep in mind those generally take longer to dry. So pro tip, put some silica packets in your drop kit to assist in the drying of your shaving gear as well. Now, if you want your brush to be protected as you're traveling, you can get a brush case like this. Now I do recommend punching some holes in the top so the brush can breathe and dry as well. This is great because it's changeable and this is from PAA and you can put in a larger or taller or shorter brush in here and just screw that down as you need. You can also get containers like this. This happens to be from NB Shave, uh, but here I have one of my travel brushes. This is great because you have the hole in here that helps the brush dry as well. And both of these parts come off, so you can take off the bottom or the top to access your brush. Or you can also go to a pharmacy and potentially get one of these little pill containers if you have a nice little small brush like this Omega Mixed or Mighty Mixed Midget, and that will fit in here as well, nice and securely. And again, punch holes in the lid so it can dry. So we have our brush. Now we need some soap or cream. Now, depending on the amount you take, depends on how long you're gonna be gone. If you wanna use a new soap every single day, you're gonna be gone for seven days, trying to take seven containers of soap is gonna be challenging and space taking. Uh, so you can do a couple things here. If you don't wanna use a new soap every day, you can go down and get some of these wonderful makeup containers at stores like Target and Walmart. Put in your favorite soap in here, take up significantly less space, and here I have at least a week plus worth of soap in these two containers. Or you can also travel with shave sticks like Tabak here, or a shaving cream. The great thing with products like the Tabak shave stick or the Barbas cream, is that they are not super finicky on the type of water that's being used. If you're going to an area that has extremely hard water and you live in an area that was soft water and have a water softener, the soap can behave differently. So something like 
this Barbas Classic Soap is also fantastic to travel with because you get a full five plus ounces in this small container. It takes up very little space in your suitcase. You can scoop off of here and bowl lather or load off the puck and face lather. Now, if you are a bowl latherer, something to keep in mind as well is what kind of bowl are you gonna take? Are you, do you want to go with the kind of classic home remedy of a salsa bowl? Or if you want to be something a little bit more akin to what you're used to at home, you can use the copper cab's choice bowl. Since it's metal, it's not going to break as the baggage handlers are tossing your luggage at the airport. Or is this being tossed on and off the bus or train or as you're jostling down the road? Uh, you don't have to worry about your bowl breaking. Now, if you want to use an artisan soap, you want to take the full container, something like WSP is fantastic. Now keep in mind this is a metal tin, so it does have a tendency to dent during travel. So you can use something like this. Uh, if you're taking your copper cabbage choice bowl, you can fit a, an artisan soap in here. That'll fit in fairly nicely depending on the type of container the artisan uses. So we have our bowl, we have our soap or cream, and we have our brush. And we've already talked about the dop kit. The next thing I want to talk about is how to travel with a razor. Now again, if you are flying, if you are checking your bag, you can check your razors with the blades into through security, no problem. If you're carrying on, again, you cannot carry on a removable blade. So either mail yourself the blades or you can pick some up at a local like CVS or Walgreens when you get to your destination. So you're traveling with your razors, a couple different ways that you can protect your razor while traveling. If you're traveling with a DE, you can get these leather protectors that just go over the top cap. With these, you can have a blade already installed in the razor and just put this in your application like this. If you want something that's going to protect your razor a little bit more, you can get a case like this out of full leather that encloses your entire razor and keeps that protected as well. Now, if you are a chevette shaver, a straight razor shaver, and you prefer to travel with something like that, um, you can get some a kind of full leather case like this that's relatively generic and you can put your straight or your chevette in here as well. Now if you are going to travel with a straight razor you will need a strop. Now you can make your strop you know you can strop your razor on your jeans uh, you can do a newspaper strop or you can just get a, a, a travel leather strop as well. Now something that you can do is if you have a three-piece razor and you don't have one of these type of cases that either go over the head or the entire razor, is you can use a, an empty mint container like this. Just take your three-piece razor, leave the head and top cap together. I recommend wrapping these in tissue or toilet paper. Place that in your tin and you can put the handle in here as well. It takes up very little space. You can even put in a couple blades in there also. Or if you want something a little bit more custom fit to your razor, uh, there is this option to get this tin here that has a 3D printed mold in there that will fit your razor perfectly. As you can see, I have my Starlink from PAA with the handle, the head, and base plate, another base plate, and some additional blades. Now, something I also recommend is putting some silica packets. If you have something like this, generally there's going to be a space in the bottom there that you can put in a silica packet that will help your gear to dry. Also, put in some silica packets in your travel kit, uh, where you're going to be placing your wet products, like your razors, maybe your soaps a little bit, uh, and definitely your brushes. That helps things. The silica packet absorbs the moisture, and it'll help keep your products dry. So, also, another hack is if you like to use a straight razor, and it's a really narrow straight razor, or even like a Dovo Chevette, is you can take a toothbrush holder like this, put some telegraph at the bottom to kind of make things so it doesn't jumble around as much. And in here, I have my various inserts for the Dovo, as well as a Dovo and a couple blades. I traveled like with my Dovo like this for a couple years and it works really well. It protects your Dovo, you have your blades, your inserts, and you're good to go. If you have another Chevette style, uh, like the IBC here, probably not gonna fit in here, you can find these full leather or leather cases uh, online as well. So anyway, I hope you guys found this uh, 
informative. And if you have any travel coming up, let us know in the comments below. Uh, let us know if there's anything in here that you didn't, uh, that you weren't aware of as far as travel and tips. And hope you all hope to catch you all in another episode.